Discord webhooks allow us to send automated messages to channels quickly and have a wide range of uses. Webhooks. Why even use webhooks? Well, webhooks are used for many things. So, what is a webhook? Webhooks are automated messages sent from apps when something happens. They usually have a message or payload, for example a JSON object, and are sent to a unique URL. How do I make a webhook? That's what we're going to do now. So, go to webhooks, integrations, create webhook, and call this like github or something. And we're going to copy this, there we go. Copy the URL, and we're going to go to add webhook, make sure you have a repository. Payload URL, so paste it in here, and type slash github on the end, so discord knows what payload data is going to get from github. Content type, application slash json, okay. Now, last but not least, select individual events, so not pushes, untick that. In this case, we're just doing watches. And user stars a repository. How do we know if it works? Well, star. We unstar and we star. And it says new star added. There we go. So, go to google.com. We're going to press Control shift j And we're going to test this custom webhook out. So, how do we do that? So, we're going to make a var URL, a variable pointing to URL. Okay. For our webhook URL, well, we want to paste that in. There we go. So we have the URL, so press shift, enter to go down. So we actually want to send a HTTP request to this URL. And what kind of request do we want to send? Well, when we go to google.com, that is a get request. We don't want to do that. When we log into a website or sign up, sorry, that is a post request. So we're going to specify some options curly braces and we're gonna have some things in here so first of all we're gonna tell discord what we are using so what payload we, what kind of payload we're sending we're gonna send application slash json just a json object how do we do that so we type content dash type application slash json and we're telling Discord what our payload type is. Now, we want to specify how we're going to send this HTTP request, what method we are using, a POST request in capital letters. Now, another thing, we actually want to send the payload, so body, and we must send this as a string, otherwise it won't work. So, we're going to have it like that. So we're going to convert this to a string, so basically text, so we can send it to the webhook URL. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have content. Now, you know what this is going to do, perhaps. So if we put high in there, guess what's going to happen? We get high. Now, this is a plain message. How boring. We don't want a plain message. We want a message embed like this. How do we do that? Okay, so here's a message embed. So we have a title, description, fields. Here's some more properties that we can have. We can have a lot. But So we're going to have one thing in here called embeds. Now, for some reason it's an array. So we're going to have an object within that array. So we're going to raise a list. Now. We're going to have in this object a title. Now, this is available here and here. There's some methods. But we're going to have title hello or subscribe to add in jar. Then we're going to have the description so we can get 1k subs. What is that going to do? Well, 
that sent a message subscribe to Adam JR so we can get 1k subs there we go okay so now I'll leave a link to these three links in the description but here's a list of color codes they are a bit confusing let's say we want a gold embed let's make one so now we can have a color so we just copied this boom subscribe to Adam JR there we go there's the custom webhook join the discord.io slash adamjr if you need help anyways see you soon